Hey, it sounds so embarrassing. Please keep that between just the two of us. Don't even let the young miss know. But, but keep it between us, please. Right, whatever you say. <sighs> what should I make tonight? What's shaking, Yamato? You look really focused on something or other. Figuring out what I'm gonna do for dinner. I mean, we are right near a supermarket and all. Hold the phone. You can actually cook? You'd be surprised at how many daily living skills non-meats have to learn. I mean, I figured you reheated things, but damn. Yamato Hongo, master chef. Who'd have thunk it? Don't you live with your parents, though? Why are you doing dinner prep yourself? Don't worry about it. Yamato? <laughs> well, how about this then? I'll help you plan tonight's dinner. Will you now? I think I had you pegged all wrong. I figured you were just an average dude with a nasty case of puberternity. But no, you're more than that. Especially now that you've got your new big brother Asahi helping you out. I already hate this. That's the spirit. Let's start planning out tonight's menu, shall we? Can you even cook? Not at all. Come the hell on. But I'm aces when it comes to finding food in Akiba, so I'll show you every restaurant worth eating at. I'm sure they'll give us all sorts of great dinner ideas. Come on, it'll be fun. You're an idiot. And you can't have dinner without meat. So off we go to Heisei Diner. It's near the station's electric town exit. Here's our first stop on our Akihabara food tour. Heisei Diner. It's both cheap and delicious. Okay, I'll bite. What do you recommend? Oh, the stamina fried pork, no question. The garlic on it is crazy good. Ugh, please, not garlic. The duo can't get enough garlic in their lives as it is. The... My parents. What? Who calls their parents the duo? I do. But Tachibana... Please tell me this place has something that's not meat on their menu. Not meat? Why would anyone want that? They're tired of meat. Plus, I want to make them something a little healthier. You know, part of a balanced diet. Hmm, that's a stumper. Akiba and nutrition don't exactly go hand in hand. You're telling me. But if we want something other than meat, you're probably going to have to do vegetables. Are you down for vegetables? Well, you know a place? I know every place. 
this little spot on Junk Street would be perfect. Trust me. Tachibana, what the hell is this? Veggie ramen. Look, just because veggie's in the name doesn't make it healthy. Ramen's like a giant bowl of salt. Plus, it's really hard to recreate the flavor of a good ramen place at home. Then we shall arrange for cup ramen. I can't serve cup ramen to someone who's been watching the house for me. Who have you got watching the house? Uh, my older brother. Your older brother and parents are all hanging out at home while well, you're out here busting your ass to find dinner? Some families do that. They have the second son cook. Look, just hurry up and show me someplace else. Well, I suppose we do need to get you and your weird family fed. Next stop, the Station Plaza. Jarive. And why are we at a sushi restaurant exactly? Because fish is brain food. Which you'd be smart enough to know if you ate more fish. And what the heck am I supposed to learn here? Uh, how to handle the fish? I'm not gonna learn that just by watching them. Then, uh, you know how sushi rice is kind of vinegary? You could learn how to make that. Uh, oh, I've got it. The perfect way to put wasabi on something. Wasabi is way too spicy for them. Ah, oh, come on. It's not like they're kids. They are kids! What? Uh... Whose phone is that? Back in a sec, Tachibana. Yamato, get back here! Aha! Uh -huh. There he is. Yeah. Who's he on the phone with? Don't worry. I'll be back home before you know it. Take care of the house for your big bro in the meantime, okay? <laughs> what a big help you are. All right. You be good. I'll see you later. <sighs> hey, big bro. Who was that on the phone? Yeah! Tachibana! How much did you hear? Everything. Though it explains nothing. What's the big deal with having younger siblings? Why are you trying to hide it? I'm not hiding anything. Oh, no. I mean, isn't this the new live-action movie adaptation of Magical Girl Pure Stars? Just give it back already! Care to explain? Uh... Not to mention, when we were looking at that ramen earlier... I can't serve cup ramen to someone who's been watching the house for me. <clears throat> Don't tell me. Wasabi's way too spicy for them. Aw, oh, come on. It's not like they're kids. You have an illegitimate child? What? Wait, no. A little sister. Maybe a pair of them. How the hell did you figure that out? Well, you did call them the duo, so it stands to reason. Ah, uh, fine. I'll come clean. It's not two sisters, though. I've got a little sister and a little brother. Dang. Now I'm imagining a couple little Yamato skulking around back home. How old are they? My brother's in third grade and my sister's in first. So back when... 
Guys making poor little innocent grade schoolers cry too? Guess some punks really are beyond redemption. Four kids in one family, huh? That must be one busy household. What are you talking about? There's only three of us. But what about your older brother? <clears throat> he doesn't exist, does he? No. I have no older brother. So why do you keep telling us you do? I don't know. Seemed like the thing to do. The thing to do? What? What do you want from me?